Leo Tolstoy, Lev Nikolaevich Tolstoy, the great author of two wonderful novels War and Peace and Anna Karenina. He was a Russian writer who lived from 9th of September 1828 to 20 November 1910. He is regarded as one of the best writers of all times. Because he was a successful writer, he may have lived a very luxurious life. But no, he had a painful one. He lost his mom before he was 2 years of age. His father died when he was just 9 and shortly after that his grandmother also expired. Later he was transferred to the care of his aunt but she also left him alone when he was quite young. He was later taken care by another aunt who also left him shortly. Despite being surrounded by so many deaths of his loved ones near and dear ones he yet successfully captured the happiest moments of his childhood in his first successful work of literature childhood and later in boyhood these superfine piece of his thoughts later became the autobiographical sketch of his own life he had a profound influence on many other people like martin luther king and Mahatma Gandhi his thoughts views and ideas can really be a source of motivation to all of us let us now see a few of them everyone thinks of changing the world but no one thinks of changing himself the two most powerful warriors are patience and time All happy families are alike. Each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Respect was invented to cover the empty place where love should be. If then I were asked for the most important advice I could give that which I considered to be the most useful to the men of our century i should simply say in the name of god stop a moment cease your work look around you only people who are capable of loving strongly can also suffer great sorrow but this same necessity of loving serves to counteract their grief and heals them free thinkers are those who are willing to use their minds without prejudice and without fearing to understand things that clash with their own customs privileges or beliefs this state of mind is not common but it is essential for right thinking Ramizing in our souls we often dig up something that ought to have lain there unnoticed You can love a person dear to you with a human love but an enemy can only be loved with divine love Let us forgive each other only then we will live in peace the changes in our life must come from the impossibility to live otherwise to the demands of our conscience not from our mental resolution to try a new form of life there is no greatness where simplicity goodness and truth are absent if you look for perfection you will never be content There are many faiths but the spirit is one in me and in you and in him so that if everyone believes himself all will be united everyone be himself 
and all will be as one. It's not given to people to judge what's right or wrong. People have eternally been mistaken and will be mistaken and in nothing more than in what they consider right and wrong. Remember then, there is only one time that is important. Now, it is the most important time because it is the only time when we have any power.